What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemon coming back with a call it three and a half month update on my 75 gallon reef tank. I haven't been the most motivated lately to make these videos. I'm still putting in the work trying to make this reef tank awesome, but an issue that I'm having is I got ick in the tank uh, and I haven't been the most motivated to make a video. So let's just dive right in and check it out. First off, new additions. You can see him right there, that purple tang. I ended up going to uh, Calypso's house. That's the purple tang he's been holding for me. Um, he's been doing good. I mean, there was some aggression between him and the yellow tang and everything was fine. He didn't have ick. Um, I have, I got actually ick when I put in my other addition, which is that Tamini tang. Got a little bit of ick before I put him in with a yellow tang. Uh, the yellow tang had some ick, so I've actually been using Polyp Lab, uh, Polyp Labs Medic and everything's been looking really good. I mean, there's no sign of ick. The yellow tang didn't have any. None of the other fish seemed uh, agitated uh, by anything. So I um, ended up uh, freshwater dipping the Tamini tang, dropping him in. He's been fine. I actually got him in Petco. They did like a 30% off. I got him for like 30 bucks or 35 bucks something. So I thought that was a good deal. And tank was doing great. And then I had a little ick on both of them after a little while. So I continued Pop Lab, uh, the medic, and it seemed to just go away. I didn't seem to have any signs of anything. Um, and the tank was doing really well. And then I put the purple tank in, same thing. He was doing great. I've had him in here for a little over two weeks. I think this coming Sunday will be three weeks. And he's been doing great eating, as you see, eating frozen. And come a couple days ago, and I don't know, my skimmer's been off for a while because I've been doing this uh, medic stuff. So my skimmer's been off, I, and I tried to turn it on a while ago and it didn't turn on, so I just tried the other day. I turned it on, I left it on basically all day. Um, and shortly after that, the ick popped up again. So I don't know if the skimmer had anything to do with it. I don't know, but it's back. The yellow tang has it. The Tamini tang's got like a couple spots, but check this purple tang out. It's like all over if he doesn't, look at that. Tamini Tang's doing fine. All my other fish are super healthy. Clowns never show anything. A uh, little neon dotty back right there. He bounces off rocks every once in a while, but that's about it. Uh, yellow Tang has it and Purple Tang is showing it the most. So my dilemma is that, as you guys know, I don't live at my own spot. I basically, my buddy bought a house. Um, when I split up with the, the ex, uh, I ended up needing a place to live. He offered me a room. So I've been living here for a little, probably about a year and a half now and just paying rent and living in a room. Now I have a small 20 gallon quarantine tank downstairs where there is a chalk basslet in there. I don't want to put all these fish in that little 20. And I know that my buddy who owns the house, he's he's like ready for me to take down that little, uh, that little 20 gallon tank. Uh, summer's basically here and it is starting to get hot. So they put the, we put our window ACs in and the, the electric bills are gonna go way up. So he doesn't want that tank run anymore. So I'm either gonna return that basslet somewhere or just drop him in here and just hope that the uh, neon dotty back doesn't bully him to death like he did my six line. So that's what I got going on is the, it. what I'm thinking is I am actually saving to buy a house right now. I want to move out. Not that I dislike it here. I just want my own place so, you know, I've never lived with roommates before and this is a first for me. So it's just, uh, it's just a lot. You know, everybody doesn't live the same. So it's, um, there's kind of conflict here and there. So I just would like to get my own spot. So I don't know if that's going to be six months from now, a year from now, three years from now. I don't know. So I think I'm going to keep going with the, with the medic. I actually just re-upped about another bottle of it. And if I do end up moving, uh, when I do move, I'm going to set up, I'm probably just going to pick up like a used 75 gallon or something and make that a quick quarantine tank for uh, probably like two or three months and let this thing run fish or fishless for that long But as it sits right now, I can't just set up another tank So I don't know I'm, th I'm just gonna keep with the medic uh, and hope for the best because like I said it was doing great before lights doing great um, I'm still running Jay's from Jay's reefs um, Lighting cycle he sent me another one um, And I woke up at like 2 a.m. And the lunars are still on and I don't really want it on all night So I switched back to the original one. So I'm still running Jay's just not his updated one uh, but I like it so far. So let's dive in. This is no filter. This is just what the camera shows, but let's check out what's going on. Um, right here, my frags are all doing well. So these, call it two, four, six, and that green one on the left, uh, those are from the pack. They're all doing really good. This one I picked up Petco, 15 bucks. It's like a little, um, 
encrusting something, like an encrusting digi or something. This little one I'm trying to bring back, it actually fell off of the, or I had it in the rock just to see how it did and it fell off and it was in the sand bed. So all the polyps are, bad, are retracted, um, but that is doing all right. It was doing all right, it was coming back. I got that from Calypso as well, as well as this. It's kind of purple pinkish. Video doesn't do it justice, but I got that from him. He wasn't doing the best in his tank, uh, but it's doing fine. You see the polyps are extended if it'll focus. Polyps are extended, it's doing well. Um, that little one right there with like the brown on the right side, that thing, it was like super orange when I got it. It died, uh, but the cool thing is it's coming back. It's got polyp extension and you can see where like it's getting healthier. It's starting to get some color back. So that's cool that that's coming back. Uh, if you guys watched my couple videos ago, you know these two were, I kind of like wrote them off. Um, but if I can, so you see that left side of this big one, it's the polyps are extended. Uh, it's definitely coming back. You can see the spots in the coral where it's actually growing back and the, that brown diatoms or whatever is leaving uh, because the health is coming back. Same with this one, um, same thing. It's coming back. So it doesn't look the best right now, but definitely polyp extension. Uh, definitely you can see where that skin's coming back. So that's cool. Uh, right over here, if I can get down in there, that little green stylo right there got from Calypso as well, as well as that little encrusting money, I think that is, that little pink one in the back. So that's doing good. So it's kind of cool to see some uh, some SPS doing good in my tank for a change. Last video, I think that uh, money in the back was basically white and there it is, nice and pink. It is, there's still probably 15% of the coral that needs to grow back in, uh, but that thing is definitely making a full recovery. My green slimer crushing it. There's a couple little nubs that aren't fully grown back yet. Like as you see, the, all the little nubs, those were brown probably a month ago and you can see them just slowly come back to life. So there's still about two little nubs that need to need to fill back in and, and, and get their skin back and get that diatom stuff off of there. But they're doing good. Uh, that jack o -lantern, I'm gonna lower that. I just haven't yet. I mean, it's alive, it's doing all right. I just haven't seen much growth. So I'm gonna put it lower uh, in the rock and probably take it off that plug and see what happens. Uh, now this little, project of mine is the PC rainbow. Now that was on the frag rack and as you see the top, it was losing the skin on the top. So I'm, I was thinking maybe it was too much flow. I moved it over there. Um, polyps are extended, but that is still white on the, uh, that, that those tips actually. So we'll keep an eye on that, see how that does. The palizoas and that little hammer's doing well. Um, some stuff I got from Clipso again, a little purple and orange zoas. Uh, you got some purple people ears right there. Then I forget what these are called, but those are pretty cool. They're like yellow, orange, and purple. Um, we're not sure about this. This could be a jawbreaker. We'll see. Wish I could show you color on this one. This was another Petco, Petco pickup. It's actually a rainbow uh, acan. It's doing really well. So I hope that does well and grows big. This I got from Calypso. Both of these, uh, the mushroom and that money right there. Um, I need to put the money up on the rock, but it's doing good so far. The war corals, you see pops are out doing well. A couple things over here from Calypso as well. This thing's pretty sweet. Can't wait for that thing to grow out. That's awesome. Uh, what's up, buddy? What's up, guys? They're all hungry. I got some food to frost in. Uh, this is like two polyps. Uh, it's like a purple and, and orange, so it's kind of cool. And what else we got? The zoas on the rock are starting to grow. Um, that one in the middle, that yellow one, has never really done that well, uh, but I'm hoping it, it does well. This digi is doing really good. That is, I think, a bubblegum digi doing really well. This rainbow money, as you see, the polyps are going crazy. That thing's looking nice, so that's cool. I need to get that off the, off the uh, plug or disc and put it on the rock. Um, this is a pink setosa doing well. Um, it was like, a, it was basically white when I got it and there it is, polyp extended, nice and pink. So that's cool. This is another little Petco pickup. That thing was like 40 bucks. It's a two headed little torch. It's, it's all purple, uh, but I like it, really cool. Of course my hammer doing well, as always, crushing it. Uh, this is another little coral that Calypso gave to me. Um, it wasn't doing well in his tank, so he basically said he would rather give it to me and let me try and bring it back than it die in his tank. So uh, it it's massive. This thing was um, probably about two thirds the size when I saw it in his tank, and they gave it to me. Uh, we're just trying to save this guy, and it seems like it's doing well. Look at the look at him. He's got it all over. Really wish I could take him out. 
Um, there's those little guys doing well. Um, Calypso, if you're watching, see there's your, um, uh, those are the, whatever they're called. And there's some real bright ones over here. Um, but other than that, the corals are doing well. And I'm, I'm happy so far. Tank's doing pretty good. Let me see if one of the lights actually fell off, so that doesn't even work. So I got a dark side and this side's light. Skimmer's off, because like I said, I'm running. Um, update on this, running in this. I have not seen that slime stuff whatsoever uh, because there's a surface agitation. It's doing really well. This light's doing all right. I think the chato growth could be a little better. So I'm kind of looking at the AI, huge light. And we'll see uh, what's up with that. Um, the new S1, doing totally fine. Calcium reactor. I'm kind of up and down with it. Um, I have a fluctuation from probably 9.3 to 9.6 or 7. I, I want to bring it down uh, and I'm kind of working on it, but I don't want to just drop it real quick. Um, the Kimura is doing good. This um, TNA uh, solenoid is doing good. And the actual skims reactor is doing well. I have no complaints. Uh, hit it with the Mike Lemon sticker. Um, I haven't done a water change on this tank in, in six weeks. And the reason is I, I ran out of salt. But today, boom, got the, uh, the RPM Fritz. And this water has been mixing. There was probably, I don't even know what the salinity is, but it's really low in there. I threw some salt, whatever I left. Uh, and so probably here after this video, I will take uh, that Fritz salt and mix it up and try to get the salinity up so we have that. This is pretty cool, my little sticker collection. I'm sure a few of you see your stickers. It's pretty tight. Uh, I got a few of them. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, 4 Ocean. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I picked one up. A little 4 Ocean, 20 bucks. Each one of these takes a, a pound of trash out of the ocean. And yeah, this pink one, or the, it's kind of like salmon color. Uh, that one's particularly for coral reefs. They have ones for uh, sea turtles and dolphins and stuff, but I ended up getting the coral reef, but um, yeah. I picked up this today, came in. So I got the Acro Power. Some of my corals don't have the best color in my opinion. I think it could be doing better. So I am, I have T, T65 gallon reef. I have my winnings from his, uh, he threw it in on Dave's Christmas giveaway and I won that. So I have that and I think I'm gonna start dosing the Acro Power and I'm just gonna follow direction, directions. I watched a video about Julian Sprung, basically just said, follow directions. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm sitting sh just shy of 1,100 subscribers, and for 1,100 subscribers, I'm giving something away. So nice little giveaway sponsored by Hannah, which is pretty cool. I got a little something giveaway to you guys, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be happy about that. Um, I need to really pin my alkalinity. I've been testing it basically every day for the past like week, it's about every other day. It was 7.4, two uh, not, not today, two days ago, and then this morning it was 7.3. So I'm gonna check again in two days, and if it goes down past 7.3, I'm gonna make a little adjustment. Um, but other than that, it seems to be doing pretty well. I've, I've really never had an SPS that did well, so it's pretty tight. All of them have bulb extension um, and are colored up decent. Uh, I can't wait till they get bigger. Uh, and then, like I said, it's cool to see them coming back, the ones that I kind of wrote off and thought died. I may switch up the rockscape. Before I had sticks, before I really dove in, um, I didn't know about flow. I knew about flow, but not really. But I think with a rockscape like this, it's kind of hard to make sure flow is all over the tank. So I'm going to maybe tweak my rocks, um, I have the two power heads right here. Um, I have one big one, another big one over there, and then that little one in the back is like a nano one. I think I'm gonna get another nano one, put one on the back right here, coming this way, one on the back right here, coming this way, and then kind of move this forward and face these two bigger ones at each other. So that's my flow plan. I got everything wired up. I got everything on timers. I got most of my stuff on the Apex and it is fun other than this ick but that's about all i got for you guys i appreciate you guys watching it's been a long one if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down low and i appreciate everybody watching as always keep an eye out for that giveaway video and i will catch you all later like comment subscribe your boy mike lemmings out peace